fight with others. For me, first and foremost, um, it truly it is a passion. It isn't even a business. It has become a business, but really, my passion is to inspire women to travel safely and well. And for those women who know how to travel, the hands of the women who are just starting out. And I started that a long time ago by, I'm ashamed to say this, but we were faxing each other. That's how far that is. There was no internet, right? So I would just post the question. I sent out letters, and I sent it to 100 people, and I asked them questions. And I said, what would you tell a woman, blah, blah, blah? How would you deal with this? How would you deal with that? And these women sent me, either by fax or by mail, their answers. And I put all the answers together, and that's what started the newsletter. And I haven't really gotten away from that. Now we have a much better system. Now we can do it via Twitter. We can do it by internet. But the truth is, I am engaging everybody. And I'm not doing this intentionally, like, oh, they're going to come to the site and draw it. That's not what it's about. It's about getting people to hold hands and to help each other. And what is amazing is that it's actually moving around the world, around the world, and around the world because people feel they're really engaged. The other part is, I don't know how many of you have been to my website, but if you go, you're gonna be terribly disappointed because it's the same website I've had since 1997. And everybody says, Evelyn, why don't you change it? And I say, do you enjoy going to your grandmother's house? At your grandmother's house, you know where every single thing is. I want people to come there. Your grandmother is wise. Your grandmother is
continue reading and, and talking to him and then later on we do create something you don't have to have everything all at once you don't have to go out to your readers and say I want all of you to become subscribers immediately I want all of you to link to me immediately you can build a rapport with people you can say thank you hello how are you today what are you doing today I'll, I'll retweet this for you and kind of build this relationship with people whether it's someone who has a million followers on Twitter or it's someone who just started yesterday and has a lot of questions and maybe has something that that they can learn from you uh, I think the best way to create people that are passionate about what you do is to be passionate about them and to show them something to be passionate about in the first place. Um, as I said, the Why Go Living Italy site isn't really a blog. It's not so much about me, although my personality is very much in it. So that for me, I think my regular people who subscribe to my site are planning a trip to Italy. They are subscribers and regular readers as long as they are planning a trip to Italy. When they're done with that trip, they are then going to subscribe to, I hope, why go France? Why go Iceland? You know, any of our other destination sites or somebody else, somebody else's destination site while they're planning that trip, etc. However, I do think that those people are still potential evangelists because if I one of our core values at Boots and All is to be accessible experts. That is that drives everything I do. So if if I deliver an answer to them, if I deliver exactly what they're looking for, whether they Google something and they find a page that is exactly what they're looking for, or they send me an email or uh, something on Twitter and I get an answer for them, then when their neighbor is planning a trip to Italy, they're like, oh, I've got this site you should check out. And maybe they come to me and say, hey, do you know of a site for Argentina or whatever? I mean, just so that to me is is my definition in my world of an evangelist is somebody who they're going to recommend me to somebody else, even when they're done with Italy, because um, I'll never be done with Italy. I'll be stuck there. So. <laughs> Last year I spoke a lot about just frequent posting and pictures and um, links and all that. But this year it's a little different for me. I just try to keep it fresh. I mean, I could just, it's, I, there was a point where I thought, oh, I was trying to get pregnant and what if I get pregnant? What am I going to write about? So I'll be on maternity leave and there'll be nothing. There's never nothing. That's what I've learned. And um, in fact, I can't even keep up with all my ideas anymore. And, and I, I will admit it, I'm a fan of reality TV. I love how the Desperate Housewives and all that stuff. So I kind of, <laughs> I kind of try to like keep my blog like that's how I kind of think of it like you know TV and blog or Twitter or whatever. So just want to give people a a view of what it's like to be in my shoes because everyone's on the airplane, everyone has that experience, but they might not necessarily have my experience. So that's how I, what I try to do with that. And then also um, just I try to incorporate my readers too. I have one guy who writes started writing me so much. He, he's I, I would love for him to write for me. I always answer his questions. He's so funny, so I include him. And you know, then lately I've just been taking people's pictures and putting them on and asking people to catch you know caption it. And that is so funny. So I, I just try to include people, make it a little fun party, I guess. That's it.